Okay, now as you can see here, we got all our uh, side dot markers installed in there. Um, our back is done. Uh, I got our plates right here, kind of installed in there. Uh, they're still going to be tweaked a little bit to get them just right, but uh, they're pretty close right now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to work on uh, attaching this fretboard finally. It's the first thing that we ended up doing on this build. And, uh, it's been sitting around the shop for a while. So let's get this thing on here. So uh, first things first, we want to test it, make sure that everything's working uh, before we, you know, go putting it on here and realize, oops, something's not right. Don't want to do that. Uh, you don't want to find that out after you get it glued on. Okay, looks like, yeah, it looks like we got all the lights going, so we're good to go. Okay, so let's flip this thing over. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to uh, route a pocket here um, for these wires to be fed through. So we're going to, you know, just route a little well in here, probably uh, I'm thinking three eighths of an inch to a quarter inch deep. And then we're going to take a drill and we're going to, a hand drill, and we're just going to drill. Um, drill a hole from the corner in here and then uh, leading into the single coil cavity. We're going to try and get it just by eye to try and get it uh, right near the bottom of the cavity would be perfect. Um, unfortunately I had a little bit of faux pas whenever I did this. I, um, I had the wires leading off of the wrong end of the fretboard. They should have been coming out of here. Uh, it's just a you know that would have been a uh, a quicker way to get to the uh, control cavity but it's no big whoop we just got to make sure that um, we might have to extend these wires to go in no nah, we don't I think yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be fine anyways so we're gonna go grab the Dremel with a um, with a uh, router attachment and we're just gonna drill out this area here or uh, red out this area here and then we'll take a bit and uh, finish the job off Okay, so we got this uh, pocket drilled for um, our wires that are going to be coming through here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to drill a through hole here um, from this cavity here into the single coil pocket. And we're just going to kind of eye this and we're just going to go slowly and uh, we're, we're just trying to catch the edge of it. So we just have a little bit of a, a hole that pops out here for um, the wires to go through. So. Pretty good right there. I tell you what, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the old registration pin trick again with the staples. I'll pull those right out. Um, so what we need to do is uh, we gotta take a bunch of things into consideration though here. Um, First off is we got to make sure that we don't land underneath a fret and we also got to make sure that uh, we don't end up uh, interfering with our wiring here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark just roughly, okay it looks like we have frets running here and here. So. I can pretty much anywhere right around here, I can put a staple. So that's what I'm going to do. And I got to do another one down at the other end of the fretboard. So I'm just going to mark out the first fret here. I'm going to put it uh, guess it doesn't really matter anywhere around there. So I'll just say I'll put it right here. right in the maple there. Okay, that way we know that uh, when we go to press our frets in, we're not going to have any uh, any surprises. Uh, the thing won't seat or whatever because there's a 
piece of metal jammed into a fret slot or something like that. Uh, we don't like those types of surprises. Not very fun at all. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the staple gun. And like I said before, um, no pressure um, down. Just kind of let it float on top and boom. Should still be pretty good. And one right here. Anywhere down around there is fine. Right there. Look good. Okay, take these and nip them off. Just above there. Pull that one out. Same with over here. This one's closer to our point, so. Went in a little bit too deep. It's alright though, no big problem. No big whoop. Let's see, okay, so we're gonna set this into position. Now I tried to make sure that these nubs landed where we have some wood and not just epoxy, because these are gonna have a harder time going into the epoxy than they will into the wood, even though it is ebony. So, um, we should be okay on our registration uh, holes should uh, should take into the ebony here. So we'll get this lined up first, this side. Make sure we're lined up down here somewhat. We want to make sure we're completely lined up here. No mistakes at all for that. Okay, so I'm just going to press down and I could feel it kind of uh, push into there. Okay, now we're gonna worry about this one here. Make sure we're nice and flush here on both sides. Okay. Uh, maybe right about here, I think. Okay, so. Uh, we are where we wanna be. Push down on that one. Okay, so. That should be our registration points right there. There and there. And we're just gonna hook that up to the battery to make sure that didn't interfere with any electronics. Okay, we're good. So now, there's one more element. Truss rod. So, and now we can go ahead and put our blocking nut back on. Okay, we're good to go. Um, looks like everything's fitting well here. We're ready to go on our glue up. A uh, couple things here. One thing we want to do is we want to take a piece of uh, tape here. Make it about as long as our truss rod slot and what we want to do is we want to run this tape right up the middle here and it's a little bit too long there now what this is going to do is it's going to protect our truss rod slot from getting any glue in it so if this all coated with glue we'll peel the tape off and then when we go to put the neck on, we'll have uh, a little bit of area where the glue can squeeze, but not quite get into the truss rod slot. And we'll still have plenty of area to laminate the actual neck. So with that being said, I'm going to go grab some, uh, some clamps and a call and get this thing, uh, get this thing finally installed on here. And you know, this is why we have the uh, masking tape on here. So when we're doing this step here, we don't, you know, we don't muck up our uh, truss rod cavity there. Okay, now that we got coverage on pretty much every area here, we can think about 
starting to install this. Okay, let's give that a wipe there. So, we're going to start by feeding our wires through here. Let's get those going. Be a little bit tricky because we got to work kind of quick. So, the idea is just work fast, but don't work panicky because that's when things start not going your way. Okay, so get that in place here. One of our registration pins in there, and one here. Okay, looking good. Almost forgot to do something. Better pull that tape off of there. That would have been something. Okay, I'm just gonna throw that aside on the floor because it's, it's yucky. Okay. Just lined up here again. Let's try this again here. And that's looking better. There we go, and there we go. So now we want to take a sanding call. And I've just placed my hand drill on the body here just to weigh it down so that this thing doesn't tip off the table while I get these first couple clamps on. And I can reposition it. Okay, we got that pretty much where we want it. So we can take one of these bar clamps here. And we're just going to tighten it up a little bit. We're going to make sure we're on our line here. Pretty good there. And we're going to go this way here. Pretty good there. Okay, so we'll clamp it down a little bit more, yeah. And we'll check it again. That's good there. And that's good there. So. A little bit more pressure, then we'll get another clamp on here. Okay, just snug it up. Make sure we're nice and flush there, we're looking good. So. Still looking good. Still looking good over here. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, swing it over this way. We're up on the table. We'll put the rest of our clamps on like this. <coughs> so we'll take this one. We want to get this one right on here. Okay, I'm just going to grab a couple more clamps. We'll get the rest of this clamped up and we'll let it sit for a couple hours. <laughs> 